Hey YouTube, this is Southern Purple One. About 24 hours ago, I stood right here with a whiteboard behind me and did a video on uh, Marauders. Um, a few comments were posted, I got a few emails, and basically a few people were very discouraged. They live in a suburban area. Um, the video I did yesterday was a worst case event, and I did that so you could start preparing for it. Um, so you have it in the back of your mind. Is it the most likely uh, thing that's going to happen? I hope not. I pray not. I have two grandchildren. Um, life, life is good, and I don't want to change that. I, I love being able to go places and go get an ice cream cone with the grandbabies. I, I like taking them to the park. I, I like doing so much with my family. And, and worst case event, I won't be able to do that. It will be uh, survival, uh, and, and I am not arrogant enough to think that everyone that comes to my retreat will survive. Somebody might come down with appendicitis. Somebody might have uh, a heart problem. I understand that. Uh, somebody could be operating a chainsaw and get uh, severely injured and there's no hospital. I understand that. Um, just simply walking around, you can trip and fall and break a leg. Uh, we do it every day in regular life. People get hurt. So I'm not looking forward to that. But your tax dollar has paid for me to get some of the best training in the world working for Uncle Sam, you, you can't beat it. My, my life used to consist of uh, preparing for the worst case event, preparing for someone trying to kill me, be it whoever. Um, so as a prepper and an infantry soldier, every time we'd go to a mount situation, I, I had lots of time, the leeway to work with my platoon, my squad, uh, and, and do training. And, and I did training to simulate, hey, what if you got one guy inside a house and there's five bad guys trying to get you? I know what happens because I've gone through it a thousand times, literally. I've seen it go through. I've supervised. I've done it. Uh, the no-win situation when you're outnumbered, outgunned. Um, the only thing I will tell you that uh, the, the Lord is in control. And if you live in a suburban area and you're a Christian, if, if that's where he's put you, guess what? That's where he's put you. There's no matter what's going to happen, uh, it's in his hands. Now, yes, he's given us the ability to discern. He's given this ability to prepare for uncertainties. Um, we, we have to do a certain bit. We just can't say, well, I got a $200,000 mortgage, and the Lord's going to pay next month's bill when the mortgage comes due. He, he might do that, and then he might also say, you fool, I gave you a job. Go to work. So if you're discouraged, and I, and I talked to a, a few ladies uh, through emails, um, that wasn't the goal. The goal was to encourage you to, to look at the worst case event. W what do I think is gonna happen? It's probably going to be a great depression. Um, we're probably going to have the dollar collapse one day, and you need to prepare for that. Can you survive that inside a suburban area? Yes, you can, but I want you to prepare and to look for that option. Can I leave the suburban area uh, and, and hook up with some family or friends? Uh, do they have a piece of property where I could put a 10 by 30 storage building? Can I build a storage building and then slowly insulate it, put a little wood stove in there, put some solar panels on it? Is that in the cards? If it is, that's what you need to do. If you can't move and you're in a suburban area, get, first thing, just get to know your neighbors. If you don't know all your neighbors around you, that's wrong. Look on the tax map. Look up your county or city and look on the tax map. It's going to give you the owner of every piece of property around you. Mine is so awesome. I could go a thousand feet away from this property right now. It will give me every landowner, address, everything. I can print that out. And guess what? If I'm doing a walk around the neighborhood and I see Joe outside, I can say, hey, Joe, how you doing? He's going to like, what the hell? I never met that guy. I never met that girl but you're gonna have the ability to talk to them. Don't push prepping on them. Push just friendship, just, just acquaintance. It, that is the biggest thing you can do if you live in this suburban area. And then slowly find out uh, who's more self-reliant. Now, yeah, they might not be diehard preppers. It might be somebody that's just growing 10 tomato plants and a couple peppers in the backyard, but that is a start. If they have the ability every year to grow that, 
guess what? If you have some extra seeds that year, guess what? Hey, here's some extra seeds. Can I have 30% of the, the crops that come off of it? And you can have 70 in a, in a grid down event. Uh, and they don't have any seeds put back. So I don't want to discourage you. Also, prepare for a lockdown. There's so much stuff going on. You know, people say, oh, it's going to be a lockdown. I don't know what's going to be going on. But I know the government and the powers that be will never let a crisis go to waste. And if they say this uh, virus is mutated and, and more people are going to get it, then they're going to use that to push their agenda. We know that. So also prepare for that. You, you know what I do? People say, Dave, how, when you get stressed out, what do you do? You know what I do? This is my secret. Uh, other than praying about it and, and, and trying to spend time with the grandkids, this is what I do. Are you ready? Write this down. This is earth shaking. Usually jump online and I place an order with Walmart delivery and I get their 30 40 50 dollars I think it's a 35 dollar minimum I get a 45 dollar delivery to the house of canned goods and for me I'm doing something because I might not have time to run to the grocery store and to get a few things and usually I get what we eat I get what we need in the sense of hey we're going to eat a certain amount of this this year. We're going to eat a certain amount next year. So, yeah, I'm going to have it. That's how I deal with it. Um, there's a lot a lot of things on YouTube where you can see. And if you watched the videos, it's going to stress you out. Because people, you know, push. I sort of push fear. I don't mean to push fear. I, I give you the news. I try to do it every day so you know what's going on. If that makes you fearful, I'm sorry, I'm not. I'm trying to motivate you to say, hey, there's a lot of crap that's going on that's wrong. Am I prepared, especially if you're a husband, if you're a wife, and you have children, it's your responsibility. Your, your nine-year-old can't go out and put up canned goods. You can. Some people might not have the money to put up canned goods. I'm sorry about that. Do what you can. Get a side job if you can. There's so many jobs out there. It's, it's incredible. So, so do what you can. On my homestead, my retreat, there's so many unfinished projects. Talk to my wife. She'll tell you. There's so many. I mean, there's weeds up here in the, the, the bed. I don't know if you can see it. I actually grabbed these yesterday and pulled them out. I got a weed. I got strawberries over there that the weeds are getting way higher than the strawberries. I, I have a, a, a remodel job behind me that's not finished. Oh my gosh, I could go on and on on things I got to do. So, I, I know I can't get it all done. Say that we have a lockdown. I'm not trying to. What I'm doing, I'm looking at projects that I would love to have done. And I'm trying to get the needed supplies to do it. So, if I'm going to do project B, well, that's it. I, I need more strawberry beds. I, I have the, the uh, synthetic boards, the, the uh, porch boards. I have those. I probably need a f few more screws, stainless steel screws, because I don't want to rust. So I need to buy those, which I will do next time I go to Lowe's. And I need some dirt. And I, I talked to a buddy that has some dirt, and I can get some dirt from him, some good dirt. So what I'm doing is lining up my projects and trying to buy stuff. So if we go into a lockdown, I have things to do. Or if things collapse totally and I really can't be traveling anywhere, I have all these supplies that I can use to concentrate on and getting what I think I need done. So get to know your neighbors if you're in the suburban area, but look for that bug out location. Look for that relative that lives an hour and a half away that has a perfect place. You're going to have to give up things. If you think you can hold your suburban house and say, oh, it's my house. I've been paying on this thing for 12 years. Ah, no one's taking it from me. Forget that. I have been overseas where in the day we go in and we take a village, we own it, and guess what, at night we get the heck out of there and we leave. Now we don't own it. But guess what, we can always go back and retake that thing. The reason we don't stay at night is we'd probably get our butts handed to us because the enemy is all around us and they know everything. So yes, you're going to have to give up some real estate. That means giving up your house. Be willing to do that as long as you have a place to go and you have the basic survival stuff, you can always rebuild. You can't replace your wife, you can't replace your husband, you can't replace your kids. So be willing to give up some material possessions for your safety. 
Don't be sucking that suburban say, ah, heck no, we're going down with the ship. Because you will go down with the ship. A few guys commented that, you know, they're prepared inside the sur suburban areas. A and you can prepare it. If you can get more people to join you, uh, and, and you can work out a plan, and you can stockpile what you need, everything you do is going to increase your chances of surviving in a suburban area, in a city area. It can be done. Mad Max is going to be very hard. If it's just a really bad economic collapse uh, without the Mad Max scenario and marauders, like a Great Depression, you could probably survive it. But I truly believe another Great Depression that kills the dollar. Um, people are not like they used to be. Uh, there's a lot of people that will resort to violence to get what they want. So I think it would go from a Great Depression economic collapse into a lot of violence. It might mean there's not, not enough police to cover your neighborhood. So increase your security. If you can put a fence up, put a fence up. If you can put some more lighting, put some more lighting. If you can put some uh, any type of security devices that alert you when someone enters your property, do it. Do landscaping. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to try to get that in there. You see the wall? I had this wall. You've seen the wall. I have a wall. It's a decorative wall. The herbs are here. It's I love it. My wife is starting to love it because the herbs are growing up to make it more feel like a courtyard. There's things you can do to make your property look great. So do it. Don't get depressed. Keep prepping. Pray hard. Uh, if your spouse is not on board, pray that they get on board. Um, Hug your family. Hug your family and just prepare. Thanks for watching.